Welcome, everybody. Um, my name is Elina, and I'm the user researcher and designer for the technical wishes team of Wikimedia Deutschland. And um, my teammates uh, Adam and Mel from the technical wishes team are here as well. They're going to help out a little bit later. And I'm um, so happy to see so many people for this workshop. Um, so uh, our team is building a new function for referencing or for citing sources. And um, in the workshop today, we want to show this to you and get your feedback on it. So what are we working on exactly? A new way for reusing references with different details. So the, uh, different details, we mean things like page numbers, for example. And um, this has been a very long-standing wish, it seems, in the community. Uh, we've been able to trace it back to at least 2013, when it was already voted on <laughs> in the survey of the German uh, technical wishes. And uh, so, as you can see here, we, we found some examples throughout the years, and it seems that it's keeping, uh, it kept coming back and back. So I think, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's something that's, that still is popular. And uh, I think our team started working on this already in 2016, in the beginning, looking at whether we could solve it. But it's quite a, uh, a complicated problem, actually, to solve. But now we're finally close. So that's what the session today is for as well. We want to show it to you and learn from you. So um, we're very aware that over time, uh, contributors have created their own ways of dealing with these uh, references uh, with uh, different details, like page numbers. And um, uh, yeah, we want to kind of learn also from the ways that you have figured out for yourselves that you already solved this problem. And um, yeah, we want to zoom in on how you do it and how our new function might fit or not fit with your current way of work. So that's uh, the aim for today a little bit. Uh, so how are we going to do that? First, a small introduction into the problem in our team. Then we want to zoom in on your needs and current solutions for working with these types of references. And um, then we want to show you the new option that we're working on and, um, yeah, figure out what can we learn from your current methods and would this new method be something that is suitable for you? Could you see yourself using this and why or why not? Um, yeah, so uh, I'm hoping that we can, after the kind of like presentation part of this, we can group together a little bit more in groups and uh, try things out and discuss together to, uh, yeah, to learn from you all. So, um, yeah, that's it. So about technical wishes at Wikimedia Germany, it is a team since 2015, and it was started as a wish list where community members requested specific features or technical solutions. And um, this was um, then uh, the team would kind of work to uh, implement and build these types of solutions. But after some time, uh, it was also figured out that um, yeah, sometimes the best possible solution is not the first solution you come up with. And it might be better to uh, sometimes look a little bit back and try to figure out what is the actual problem that is behind the ask, behind the feature or the solution that people are asking for. And try to understand that so that you can actually find the best possible solution. So that is the um, kind of um, structure that we have tried to adopt a little bit more. So in more recent years, we have started to work in focus areas. So the community votes on a focus area that we then kind of dive into, figure out what the problems in it are and see what we can improve for community members there. And uh, we have done uh, a survey and a different focus area approximately uh, every two years in the past years. And currently, we are working on a focus area reusing references within articles. So that's what this is a part of. And so what is now the specific issue that we're looking at? Um, this is really, um, you currently can um, quite easily reuse a reference exactly in uh, Wikipedia, but what if you want to reuse it but with slightly different details? You want to add different page numbers, for example. That's currently not so easy to do. So the basic way to do it is kind of like this. You just create a copy of your reference and um, then you change some details about it. So in this case, the page numbers. This is um, something that is 
uh, not so easy to do in Visual Editor. It's very difficult to create a copy of a reference and then change the details, because when you change the details, the other reference also changes with it. Uh, and so that's why it's not a great solution for, for most uh, Visual Editor users. And it has some other issues as well. You have a lot of duplicate information. Uh, it's difficult that if you find an error, you have to go through all of the references and fix the errors one by one. So yeah, not ideal. And so the community we found has come up with uh, a lot of uh, alternative solutions as well. And the ones that we found are used the most are templates. And this is an example of a template on uh, English Wikipedia, which is called SFN for shortened footnote. And uh, as you can see, the reference here is really short. And it kind of points with this blue link towards another item in the bibliography section or the cited work section, uh, another section in the article. Uh, this is used a lot in English Wikipedia, but it's not across all uh, other language wikis as well. And it also has its own issues, particularly also that Visual Editor doesn't really work well with these types of templates um, either. Another example of a template that we've seen used is this. It's called RP. It's also from English Wikipedia, where users will just create a little extra information behind the footnote number which gives the page number or some other bit of information that they want to show up there. So um, these examples are all only looking into uh, books and page numbers. But of course, you can probably figure out a lot of other ways in which you have um, references that you uh, want to reuse, but just with slightly different details. So uh, a few examples that we have of this. Uh, page numbers in printed text or books, of course, chapter numbers or names, uh, article numbers, for example, in laws or treaties, uh, entries in reference works like dictionaries or um, encyclopedias, paragraph numbers, uh, maybe in handbooks or manuals, and timestamps for video or audio material, and probably many, many more. So this is what I want to ask you right now. We have uh, a poll, which is not working right now, I guess, um, that we can uh, do. So I have prepared yeah, um, a poll on Slido. This is a tool where you can uh, log in through the link with the code or by um, uh, using the QR code. And uh, the idea is that I would love you to um, give me the ways in which you uh, yeah, have different details that you would like to use the same references, but with different details. And uh, if you fill out some things in Slido, uh, please just put one different thing per uh, input field, and you can just add as many as you want. And um, if you don't want to fill it out, that's also fine. We can just also have um, go around with the mic uh, after we're done. So. Already some interesting ones showing up. <coughs> I'm really curious, I don't know who puts pages of a bigger map collection, if the person who said that wants to explain it a little bit. I don't know if we have a mic that we can uh, have for that. Actually, yeah, in the, it in the non-digital world, you still have often several pages or in German we say blätter ah. of uh, map collection. So official maps of a whole country or so, and then yeah. it's uh, this and this scale and this and this number of map, or maybe oh, yeah, it's not of that and turned on, I think. 
<laughs> okay, now it's working. Perfect. Shortly repeating. Um, yeah, in the non-digital version of maps, you, you often have several pages of files. Um, yeah, they're sold individually, but they're part of a big collection in terms we say platter, usually. Yeah, thanks for sharing. That makes sense. And um, it's interesting to see that uh, yeah, page number is still definitely the biggest one, but there are a lot of different things uh, showing showing up. Uh, is someone is there someone else that maybe also didn't want to do the the poll that still wants to share something or? Um, Okay, perfect. And um, I also see, let's see, what um, is loco in ebooks? Can someone maybe say something about that? I don't know who put that on. Oh, yeah, here. I don't know if there's people also listening online, but otherwise we're going to hear you. Uh, that could be because some ebooks don't have a, the equivalent of a printed page number, so mm, yeah. it's difficult, you know, to cite to tell the reader where to go. Nice, thanks, thanks for sharing. Uh, oh yeah, I'll uh, <laughs> maybe give it a look. Okay, thank you all. Uh, so it's very good for us to see, also to take into account what are all these kind of different types of details that we, uh, yeah, people want to work with. And so I have a second question, which is, how are you currently creating these references with different details? So I have created some multiple choice answers, but if the way you do it is not in there, you, it would be great if you would want to add that to the other uh, category in the, in the poll. And I think I can show the questions on the screen as well, or the answers on the screen as well. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's not showing up right now on the screen, but I can see the answers rolling in here, so. Always fun technical difficulties. So maybe I can just make a quick, quick screenshot of the results and put those in the screen. Um, Oh yeah, okay, no, that doesn't work. I cannot change the presentation halfway into the presentation, I guess. Okay, so um, I see that actually the most chosen answer is uh, copy and pasting the whole reference in Wikitext and then changing some details. So that's kind of the first uh, example that we looked at. And um, yeah, I, uh, I would be interested to um, hear from uh, some of you if you are happy with uh, the method that you have. So are there people who are entirely happy with the method they have for this now and wouldn't want anything to change? <laughs> I would love to hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's not many hands. Uh, um, so yeah, this is uh, the results that I just uh, had a little bit before. And I see that there is indeed also some people who use these RP and SFN methods. And uh, there were a few people who filled out something else. Awesome, thanks. Um, so let's continue then. 
Uh, so uh, the title of this workshop as well said, uh, was talking about citation uh, templates. So maybe I want to zoom in a little bit on what I mean exactly when I talk about citation templates. A uh, quick refresher for, I'm, not I'm sure that everybody here knows what templates are, but um, yeah, templates are sp a special type of pages that can be included in other pages, and they are often used as a sort of boilerplate to create kind of like um, content like info boxes or references or things like that that always follow the same structure. And then they often have some parameters inside that um, uh, an editor can fill in, and that will then change the information that shows up uh, when the template is used. And uh, we so far have identified two different types of citation templates, so templates that are used for citations. They are either used to style um, uh, citations or references, so uh, that means uh, just the way they show up, the way they are shown on the, in the article, and there's also these uh, citation templates that generate references, so quickly to show. So the ones that style, the most well-known ones are um, these that you, I think in most language wikis, you automatically get these to show up when you click on the citation menu item, uh, also for the source editor. And uh, basically what happens when you click on one of those is it opens the template form and you are automatically creating a template for, um, uh, that is in inserted in your, in your page. And uh, so the way that that usually looks on in the article, um, yeah, is something like this. So, um, and in Wikitext, if you look at such a template, it looks like this. So all templates can be recognized by the double curly brackets at the beginning and the end. Um, but styling templates are placed within reference tags in Wikitext. So they only influence the content of the reference and not the reference itself. And that is in contrast to the, con the templates that generate references, such as this SFN one that we looked at before. So here you see it's just added in the wiki text without ref tags, but it still creates a ref tag, uh, but it does it hidden under the hood. So in the wiki text you cannot see that it's a ref tag, and this is also part of why Visual Editor is struggling with it so much. Um, it can just not get all the information out of it properly currently. So. This is usually what you see in a visual editor when you click on such a footnote. Normally you would see here all the information about the reference, but here you can just see that it's generated by SFN and then you can click into it and just only um, edit it here. Um, yeah, so then I'm also really curious. Um, we've known, we figured out through uh, research that we did before that in different languages there are so many different uh, templates. And uh, yeah, I'm really curious to hear uh, if there's other templates that you use in your language wiki uh, for citations that um, yeah, we might not be aware of. So this is the last poll that, that I have right now. So the question is, what templates do you use for creating references? And what do you like and dislike about those templates? Yeah, I, if I take a screenshot, it will still not show up unless they you stop the presentation and restart it again. Should I do it? Okay. Let's give it a try.
So I have a screenshots of some of these. Okay, I have a few screenshots. <laughs> oh, it's working now. Okay, so yeah, we see a lot of uh, 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 ref uh, templates from the yeah the site. The CS1 family is is this these kind of references that are uh, used most standard site web, news, book, etc. And I also was already looking at <laughs> someone saying, I just use automatic references, which is, I think, the best answer, because ideally, I think everybody would want to do that most of the time. Um, and uh, yeah, automatic reference just chooses a, re uh, a template for you right now. Um, so thanks. I see still a few answers coming in, but I'm also very curious about the um, oh. Uh, the plus and minus points. Is this working? No. So, well, uh, I also have a beautiful word cloud for what you like about them, where use and easy. Sh oh. Hmm. Yes. Perfect, yeah. Easy to use is, I think, the most important. And, uh, yeah. What is Pita? Who wrote Pita? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I didn't know that. Uh. <laughs> what you like about them is that they're... Uh, they, got, they got switched up, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and what we dislike is also parameters. Does someone want to explain maybe uh, a little bit what they don't like about parameters? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> they're they mostly are about <laughs> about that. Yeah, so it's that uh, too many options, documentation out outdated. They don't work well in Visual Editor. Too many fields very complex, difficult to set up, yeah. Languages is maybe also that templates don't um, really, uh, um, yeah, can't be used properly in different languages, like every language has to create their own templates um, separately from each other, sadly. Um, yeah, no support in VE. Yeah, these all sound very, very um, uh, recognizable and logical as well. Okay, thanks for sharing, everyone. Uh, this is really helpful for us to kind of uh, understand also, uh, yeah, the, the struggles of the editors. Um, so I would then, let's see, want to go, oops, I go too, too fast, to show you a little demo of what we're working on right now. And my lovely assistant, Adam, is gonna do that. <laughs> Yeah, um, so this is uh, something that's available on the beta cluster right now, which is kind of a, a, a very empty version of the English Wikipedia that doesn't contain all the uh, user-generated content and also um, yeah, not, not all the uh, templates, etc. It's all not there, um, but it is a good uh, place to uh, test out new features before they are released onto like, the real-life wikis. And so what we see here is an example page where, uh, yeah, you see just a normal footnote number one up there. Oh, hovering, not clicking. <laughs> yeah, which is for a book here. You can see it's by someone called Ali. Um, and the second reference a little bit down on the page is a reference number 1.1 right now. 
So if you hover over that, it shows the same book, but it also shows some additional information in the bottom there, page 400 in this case. And if we go to the reference list in the bottom of the article, you can see that it is now kind of um, displayed in, in a nested fashion. Um, so this is uh, an example with only page numbers again in it, but you can just put any content that you want into those 1.1, 1.2 references. So how do you do that? Uh, that's what Adam is going to show us in Wikitext real quick. Yes, maybe you can uh, do the highlighter and the preview. Or is, it ma is the preview making it too small? No. Yeah, so the first reference is a normal reference with a site book template inside. And you can see it has been given a name, Ali. And then if you scroll a little bit down in the wiki text, you can see the second reference is ref, not name is Ali, but extends is Ali. So extends is a new attribute that we have added to the wiki text so that you can uh, kind of borrow another uh, reference and just add some new information to it. So that's the information that is between the ref text that is then added in the bottom of the Ali reference. Um, yeah, like that. And we also have a very basic visual editor implementation uh, now because uh, yeah, whatever new we will um, uh, want to introduce, we want to make sure that it is equally usable by Wikitext editors and visual editor editors. We don't want to make things more painful than they already are. Um, so currently we only have one way to add them, uh, kind of like a basic way to make sure that technically it works. Uh, but we already got a lot of good fe user feedback, uh, so we will be improving this a lot. So currently there's an extra tab there, which says extends, where you can uh, just look through all the references that are in the article, click on one, and uh, write your extra information that you want to add to it. <laughs> and um, yeah, so now you have added reference 1.3. Oh, 3.1, sorry, to the text. So that's a very quick uh, basic demo of this. And uh, what I would like to do next is to uh, yeah, give everybody the opportunity to play around with this a little bit themselves and um, kind of reflect on is this, yeah, how does this compare to uh, my current way of work? So if we can go back to the presentation. Um, there are some example pages on the beta cluster, which you can find by scanning this QR code or going to uh, the URL or the short URL. Um, and uh, these are just uh, a few pages we've prepared that are uh, normal articles without this new um, uh, option for referencing in them. And in the bottom of the list, there are two that are, uh, already have the examples in it. So the example we just looked at is in there as well. So you can use that to, to try around and to give it a try. Sadly, the beta cluster is uh, not working very well on mobile for visual editor right now. Uh, so um, that's also why I think it might be nice if uh, the people in the room could group up a little bit. I don't know if there's a few people with laptops, but to kind of like look together and give it a try. And I um, prepared a few questions that I hope uh, people want to think about together and discuss. <laughs> and so we have about 30-ish minutes to kind of look at it later and then um, yeah, come together and discuss a little bit in the end. Uh, so these are the questions real quick and then I'll address your question. So do you think this new option can work for you? What are pros and cons compared to your current way of reusing references with different details? In what ways does it not fit with your current way of working? And do you think we need new or updated templates for this new option? And if so, what should those templates do? And for those templates, um, it, you might even get to the point where you have an idea of what you want a template to, to do. And then uh, you can maybe wave over Adam because he can also help out try to create a short, simple version of a template in the beta cluster. So you can actually try out for yourself, uh, um, yeah, whether your idea for a template makes, makes sense. So that's what I would like us to do next, but we have a question. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the thing is, 
from what I see, it's just as uh, at the moment a simple text extension. So the tag just adds the text, uh, which leaves the original uh, thing uh, in a place, which is for the beginning a very nice thing. I understand that it works for any template because it's just a part of the ref tag. Yeah. So, uh, have you thought about the uh, idea of putting a field name in this extension that will replace the thing that's in the original? So, for example, if you put in a in an extended tag uh, a name of the field that it's already in the template, so it will be displayed with the this field replaced with the extended thing. So, I know it's not maybe not for the beginning, but but some future. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for asking. I'm not sure whether I'm following fully. I don't know, Adam, if you get it and if you uh, so have an uh, answer to it, because we have let, let, let's say yeah. we have we have a site extension with a, one of the parameters is page. Yeah. Yep. So I put a uh, in this extend tag or whatever it would be a parameter which says page equals. So uh, exact so and this replaces the original page because at the moment we have a template it says uh, referenced to page whatever I don't know 500 and then as an extended says but also page 600 yeah. I uh, thank you I understand now and I think one of the difficulties here is that the um, the template that you use normally where you put the page numbers in in the in the main reference uh, you can't really access that from the sub reference currently right do I get that right um, yeah, I, I can exactly. I think you're both on the right track here. Um, I'm Adam, one of the developers for this, and uh, I think that that might be slightly simpler for one special case of books, but I think that the mechanism to do that would make the whole experience um, inconsistent, and uh, it w we definitely didn't want to start with something like this because there are there seem to be a huge number of use cases that might even turn the whole thing around. Like you might just say, this collection of books, and then in the sub-reference is actually the whole book reference. So um, just the variety of different ways you might want to use it mean that we couldn't hard code something like page in. And uh, although, although I think what you're suggesting, I, I can imagine this, it's, um, that's also just assuming that there is a field for that in the mm -hmm. parent reference. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's it's not yeah. easy, yeah. absolutely. Uh, but just just an idea that came to my mind that yeah. because that could open it to many more use cases you know, probably that we that we don't even think about right now. <laughs> okay. I, oh, it works. Okay. Um, I, I really dislike writing the same uh, reference over and over again. So on the French Wikipedia, we have a template which we uh, put a Wikidata ID, and then it creates everything properly once, and uh, then it's reused on all article. And did you test a template like that, which are um, dynamic with Wikidata with your system? Exp does it work? We, when we have a template which are generated, like if I make a um, change on Wikidata, all the pages on Wikipedia will have the new information immediately. Does it work with your system, or does that break uh, the existing templates which are relying on Wikidata for references? I because we have yeah. a lot of scientific articles on Wikidata. So. Yeah, perfect. I think Adam can answer this best. Sure. Um, so uh, yes, it, it will work with this, but the way it would work is that the, the top level, the normal reference, would be the Wikidata generated reference that you're talking about. And then you would have the detailed sub-references would just say page one, two, three. Um, so basically nothing changes about the main reference, but you're attaching more references to it. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. We had one more question here, but maybe we uh, can, uh, uh, yeah. Also, um, if, it's n if it's not necessary to do it uh, for everybody, we could also just have people group up a little bit and give it all a try I had a and question. we can walk around. Yeah? Uh -huh. uh, I noticed uh, in the example uh, you showed previously that um, it's uh, currently listed on the one column and there is a huge blank space on the right. Yeah. Uh, but on the Wikipedia in French, traditionally, uh, we sometimes uh, new se do separate groups for one uh, big publications, one uh, big reference used massively, 
into the article, and then we uh, we use um, Harvard uh, type of reference without um, without the, the parentheses, and and then we 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 make a lot of columns uh, that can adjust yeah. uh, according to the size of the browser. And can you do that? Yeah, yeah. So the same way that um, normal reference lists do that, uh, this uh, can also do that. So you can make two columns or five columns or however many you are uh, uh, used to making. Will it your be automatic or will, will it be uh, some parameter? You can parameter? just use your normal. I think. Do you use like a responsive in your uh, references attribute or in your references tag in the reference? No, it, it, it just inside the the group. Uh, to display references, there are additional models for uh, for uh, reference groups, yeah. uh, which uh, have a parameter for, for example, 25 EA or things like that. Yeah, I think that will work, right? I'm looking at Adam just briefly, but um, it is that's supposed to just work as normal. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't have too much to add other than to say that the sub-references are normal references, so they, they work all the same way. You can organize mm -hmm. them however you'd like. The, the big difference is that the sub-references will appear just under the parent reference. That's the, the only thing we've really done that would be hard to undo. If you don't want the indentation, that can be done with CSS if you want. If you, um, if you want to change the numbering, that would be a little bit deeper, but doable. Uh, but if you're okay with it saying, um, you, you know, reference two is your book and then 2.1, 2.2, then, uh, yeah, you can do everything the same way it's done now. That, that was kind of, it goes back to the first question that um, it's done in a very generic way. So you should be able to apply everything you do with refs and ref lists now to these. Yeah, thanks. And, um, yeah, so I, uh, maybe we can just all... Uh, uh, give it a try, and Adam and Mel and I can just walk around and help you with any further questions that you have. Um, and uh, yeah, so it would be great if you could uh, yeah, think and reflect on these questions or whatever else you feel about functionality. And there's another, um, if you want to, you can also fill out your answers in um, uh, the Slido. There is one new kind of Slido. Uh, survey uh, where you can put things in, but I would love us to maybe group together at the end and listen a little bit to what the people's findings are. So, um, yeah. Yeah, should we move chairs a little bit together or is everybody, would everybody rather work alone? <laughs>
Yeah. So thank you, everybody. Um, very interesting uh, conversations here in the room and uh, ideas from people. Um, I was really hoping that from the people who are here uh, still, uh, if you would like to share a little bit about um, yeah what you what you think about it now you've looked at it a little bit, and um, uh, yeah if you can see yourself using it or if not why not. Do we have someone that maybe wants to say something on a uh, mic about this? <laughs> Mel is part of the team. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it. Yeah, uh, go I, ahead. I like the experience. I think uh, some things would have to change in the way I usually work with references, but in a good way. So mm. I have been sometimes using references in the bottom, uh, like in, inside the references tag. And if I want to, uh, in, in some of the cases, as we were chatting earlier, I would be required to do that. So it probably would be a bit uncomfortable at first, because usually the other, like the inline references are the usual uh, way of doing things. Yeah. But it's nothing that I w hadn't done before, so I, I would be. Yeah, that's not something that you are uh, principally against yeah, or yeah. anything. No, yeah. It's just yeah. uncomfortable with change as, yeah, as usual. Yeah, that's that's definitely. I, I can really get that. Don't know if, if someone else has something that uh, a thought that they would like to share on on what they think of it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I really like it. I know this is not an easy thing to do. Mm. Um. I think I really like how intuitive it, intuitive it is for the readers with the nesting in the references section. I think that mm. makes it clearer than the um, the existing solutions. Um, I think, and the fact that it works with Visual Editor as well, which there are existing solutions using templates and things, but they don't work particularly well with Visual Editor. This does, obviously there's a few hiccups and unintuitive things. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see this and how much uh, how uh, much it gets adopted because there's already many referencing systems, at least on English Wikipedia, where I yeah. do most of my work. Um, but I think the advantages this brings means hopefully people will start to use it as well. Great, thanks for sharing. Yeah, and, and other wikis that don't have the templates already will be starting fresh and be able to use this. Thanks. Yes, uh, I liked it, but uh, I would have some quest uh, a question on localization or translation. Mm. Uh, do you already have a solution for that? Or how will that work for other language versions than um, yeah. and the big ones. Yeah. Um, so do you mean the, um, uh, the language for it in the visual editor uh, view or in the wiki text as well? Well, in, in general, will it mm. need to be translated if your interface is in Portuguese or, mm. or yeah, French? So um, um, Probably Adam can answer this better than me, but he's um, busy, mm. so I'll give it a go. But uh, typically when a new um, text is uh, created for in the user interfaces of the MediaWiki software, uh, it shows up in English uh, first, but the local communities immediately start translating those messages into all the uh, local languages. Uh, my, my question is just, will it be fully integrated or like, like the citation tool where it's really tricky to uh, localize? Uh, ah, okay. Maybe, Adam, can you uh, maybe... Uh, we have a question about how localization will work for this because the citation tool is tricky to um, kind of like translate into all under other languages. Do you have maybe something you can say about that on the microphone? Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. Um, 
I think I don't quite understand the question, though, because the citation tool, it is tricky to localize into each language, um, but it can be done with on-wiki configuration. So there's, uh, if you look at mediawiki.org visual editor citation tool, there's an explanation of how to localize that tool into each language. And the, the main things that you localize are the name that shows up, so website, book, but in, in the correct language, and then the template name. And so then in English, that would be site book or uh, in, in German, Literatur, something like this. Uh, but so that that's all specific, though, to the citation tool, but it doesn't actually interact with sub-references at all. Uh, so that's where I think I'm, I'm losing the point of your question. Um, were you wondering about how to localize the sub-reference feature? Yes, it was just a question whether that would uh, need additional localization as well. I, I think we left it uh, generic enough that it shouldn't need localization. The, the one bit that's, okay, there are two bits that might need some localization, sorry. Um, one is that the attribute is called extends English word, and it, it, we do think it might be confusing in other languages especially. Um, but the second bit that people see that might need to be localized is that we have these numbers, 1.1. One one. And um, in other languages, you would need a different separator, not a dot, but a comma or other characters. Uh, you might not have 1.1, one one, but you'd have uh, other digits. But I think that's all there is to localize. Well, uh, of course, also the UI uh, text, huh? the, the text in the reference previews, the text in the visual editor, uh, in the menu items that are related to uh, sub-references. But that is all uh, kind of done through the normal localization uh, process with, with um, uh, volunteer Translate translators, wiki. right? Yeah, Translate Wiki, yeah. yeah. Well, yes, uh, I think I, I got it. Oh, OK, thank you. Um, I don't know if anyone else still uh, would want to share uh, their thoughts on it. and. Um, yeah, specifically, uh, also, uh, we were looking a little bit at, at templates as well. Uh, do you think we need uh, new templates or, or updated templates for this? You can also say something else if you if you wanted to say something else. Before. I, I was just going to ask when you mentioned uh, localization of the ways that the, like the points, uh, the separators and th things, uh, is this something that you're, you're already planning or because it, I, w I would, and if so, would it would it be like uh, configurable per page, like as additional attributes, or by the wiki, uh, or in media wiki itself, or the extension, or how? Would, because it would it would be nice for the editor to be able to in this page I want the to use one a one b, but in other page use one point one one point two, and I was wondering if this would connect with what you were saying about. Yeah, uh, so probably the, the best person to answer isn't here. It's our, our product manager, Lina Fahid. But um, currently, we know that we have to change the digits and we have to change the separator. Uh, the, the first step, the most basic plan, would be that that's per language. Um, not even per wiki, but per language. Uh, it, it could be possible to add the extra customization, but I think we need a pretty good reason to. Um, and uh, I can imagine other things might be interesting, like it would be possible to say your your main book is reference one, and then instead of using 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, instead you say just one, two, three, and you don't even indent, you just keep them together. But um, I th we're not planning that right now, it's just uh, kind of possibilities that we've considered. Yeah, but um, the, yeah. the way that site, the, the extension that does the references, the way that it creates uh, Greek letters and alphabetic letters and things like this uh, is actually something that we're talking to the Parsoid team about right now because uh, there are two different ways that happens. One is with CSS and the other is with uh, I-18N, you know, the translation messages. And if you go in there, you, you actually see a list A, B, C, and then it goes A, 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 B, you know. and um, Neither of those is really ideal, so we're, we're trying to just get a single mechanism. 
Uh, but no, currently we don't see a need to uh, yeah. make the sub references customizable. Or maybe <laughs> there scary. is a, a need, but there are so many different uh, things and elements uh, on this that could be improved and, and built out. And it's also about ruthless prioritization at some point. So what are the things that will give the most value to the biggest group of people? And that is the first uh, focus right now before we... Uh, really release it on the wiki to make sure that it works well enough uh, so that people can actually uh, yeah, uh, really start using it, see if they even want to use it, and start kind of uh, hopefully uh, improving little by little from there as well, if it uh, catches on. So that's what's to see. So yeah, let's maybe just uh, wrap it up. Thank you very much, everybody, for your um, time and um, interest and uh, interesting questions and suggestions that you've given us. Oh, sorry, you want to? Hmm? I wanted to uh, make the Lido. This, uh, oh, yeah, so the Slido. Yeah, we, I can still... Uh, or is uh, Slido now out of work? No, it, it should still work, the Slido. So you can still, let's see if I can pull up the, I can give you the, um, here. The, um, the link to this Lido. It would be great if you indeed still have some thoughts uh, that you want to put in the survey for us. It's really helpful for us to, um, yeah, to, to get all that feedback. And of course, um, you can also always find me around here. Um, there's some more uh, information on the meta page about this project if you uh, are interested in that and you are always allowed to email me if you have more questions or suggestions. So that was it. Thank you, everybody.